I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on quadratic equations. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and creator of Orgoman products in the Dot Destroyer book. I'm here with Professor Blois today. And we're going to do a problem involving quadratics. All right, Professor, take over. Hi, quadratic equations. Here we go. Here's a little uh, short uh, problem you may find on the Dat. has a very quick answer. Here is a quadratic equation, 3x squared minus 5x plus 9, find the sum of the roots, find the product of the roots. You know what? You don't even have to find the roots, because there's a special formula. The sum of the roots is given by the formula negative b over a, and the product of the roots is given by the formula c over a, which you can derive, if you want to derive it, you can just write out the quadratic formula and take the product of the two solutions and take the sum of the two, two, two solutions, you'll see that they simplify to this. So given this quadratic formula, we identify what the coefficients are, a equals 3, b equals negative 5, and c is equal to 9. All right, so we have the formula. The sum of the roots is represented by negative b over a. So that's going to be equal to negative, b is negative 5, a is 3. So the answer is 5 thirds. Simple as that. What are the roots? Who the heck cares? What we are asked for is the sum and the product. The product of the roots is c over a. So c over a is equal to 9 over 3, which is 3. And there we have the product of the roots. Okay, here's a quadratic inequality. We, we sort of, it's, it's, it's in the same category of problem, but we're going to approach this on a very different uh, level. x squared minus 15 is less than 10. Okay, so let's get everything to zero, which is standard operation when you're dealing with a quadratic equation. We subtract 10 from each, each side and we get x squared minus 25 is less than zero. And then we see this is the difference of two squares, so this is going to be x plus 5 times x minus 5 is less than 0. Now, one standard way of solving this problem is to set up a table with intervals less than negative 5, between negative 5 and 5, and greater than 5. Let's dispense with that. Let's solve this visually, which is always a quicker way to, well, often a very a quicker way to solve mathematical problems. We can see from this expression that the roots are five, negative 5 and 5. Right? If they cross the, here's the x-axis, here is negative 5, and here is 5. Okay? We also know from, we should know from the original uh, equation, x squared minus 5, the leading coefficient is positive. Therefore, we should know that this is a parabola, which is concave up. So the parabola that this draws very quickly, we make a very quick sketch is a parabola, concave up, that passes through the x-axis at negative 5 and 5. Problem solved. You didn't even realize it was solved. It was so quick. We want to know when this expression is less than 0. Well, look at the graph. It's less than 0 between negative 5 and 5, exclusive of the endpoints, because we don't want it to equal 0, just less than 0. So this is a, a visual problem. The solution is, here is the solution set, uh, the expression is less than zero when x is between negative five and five and there's our solution okay there we go okay i hope you got a good idea how to do this and i hope you'll enjoy our future videos with professor blois he makes math fun all right thank you very much oh, professor. Sure. my pleasure my pleasure okay good day to you bye bye